with the final chapter of the John Grazioli murder case. Nearly 13 months ago, he shot and killed his wife. Two months ago, he was found guilty for the crime. Today, he learned that he'll spend the rest of his life in prison for that crime. David Belmondo in the courtroom today. Dave joins us now in the newsroom with that story. Dave. Well, there were some heavy emotions this morning in the courtroom when Amanda Grazioli's parents read a letter about their daughter's life, a life they say was taken much too soon. Completely appropriate for the facts and circumstances of this case. Assistant District Attorney Aaron Conley had no problem with the sentencing handed down for John Grazioli, who killed his wife with a gunshot to the head. Conley knew Grazioli would be off the streets for the rest of his life. First degree murder in Pennsylvania is life without parole. And that's just what Judge Brabender handed down, life without the chance of parole. Grazioli was sentenced Friday for the death of his wife Amanda, who he shot and killed in their Mill Creek home last March. During today's sentencing, Amanda's parents addressed the court with a letter about their daughter, a letter that left few dry eyes in the courtroom. Truly heartbreaking statements. I think everybody, every parent can see their child um, as the mom and dad spoke of the victim. Judge Brabender asked Grazioli if he would like to tell him why he killed his wife. Grazioli never gave a motive. His attorney said he advised Grazioli not to speak because of a pending civil matter and a possible appeal in the case. There was uh, an instruction of um, voluntary intoxication. Uh, we believe there was evidence that was sufficient for that charge that would render a first degree to a third degree. Conley says she doubts Grazioli will ever say why he killed his wife. I think that's one thing we're never going to know. John's the only one that knows that and he's he's never going to tell us the truth. I mean he's he's basically proven himself at this point to be a narcissist and a liar. Now, Judge Barry Bender pointed out how much Amanda's family loved and trusted John, and well, now they say they just hope someday they'll know why he shot and killed their daughter. Jill? Okay, Dave Almonda, thank you. Yep.